Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here doing another Marvel Universe review on the San Diego Comic Con 2012 Masters of Evil exclusive 2-pack or 3-pack. Why would I say 2-pack? There's three figures right here. You got Radioactive Man, you got Baron Zemo, you got Tiger Shark. This is the packaging. Just have to show it off. It's all official. This backboard thing was in the Fantastic Four box right here. This thing costs 23 bucks. This was the most abundant exclusive at San Diego Comic-Con so he should not be too hard to find and I think it's actually a very nice set very very cool three three quarter inch figure set I like it a lot um, let's start with Baron Zemo this is a long-awaited costume I've been wanting to see in the Marvel Legends line now, as you guys know I'm mostly a Marvel Legends collector but I do pick up these Marvel Universe figures as they have gotten more and more badass over the years but this guy looks really really tight this is a very very cool Baron Zemo look as opposed to the Marvel Legends one right here look at him in the background he guys I don't know it's just this yeah, I never really liked this figure too much. Not my favorite Baron Zemo, but it is classic and it is comic book accurate. But this is one that a lot of people have been wanting to see in 6-inch scale form. Really nice paint detail on the figure. Uh, this piece right here is loose, which isn't much of a problem at all, because as soon as you get him standing there, he's not going to move around. I really like the shading on the purple areas. He's got silver in his eyes, which got blurry right there and sorry I still don't have my editing software but I'll get closer again without screwing that up there you go you can see the silver in the eyes he has gold right here for his crown deal I really like the shading on this though this looks really cool and then on the furry parts right here very very nice Baron Zemo is a furry so yeah and this right here uh, this yellow is pretty plain doesn't have any detail or anything and the purple throughout the rest of the figure doesn't have any shading or anything like that but it is a very nice sculpt I think this is an original sculpt this looks very unique but the articulation is has been redone I've seen this on the Cyclops figure before in cable again with the nice shading right there on the furry cuffs looks very very nice I like that peg holes at the bottom of the feet very cool he's got the gold belt going on so very very nice now my gripes with this figure is that he doesn't really hold his weapons too well he comes with this small gun right here which wow these things are so small you can see that right there it looks like a some kind of Walter I don't know I don't know anything about guns but anyway he he holds it very loose in this hand and this is the hand he holds it in best and it just kind of falls right out this hand it's worse and it just barely hangs in there and same thing with the sword not a whole lot of luck with the sword hanging in there but you know if you balance it right it'll stay but same thing on this side this side it holds both weapons much better this is a look at the sword hate to reuse a joke but you know whose sword doesn't bend one way or another but yeah aside from that it's okay cool looking sword I dig it this is a very cool looking figure I like it a lot he has this new articulation that I've really really loved lately and another thing is that his right leg pops off very easily but his head moves all the way back like that which is awesome and it moves down very far moves side to side he has ball jointed shoulders right here he has a bicep swivel single jointed elbow his wrist moves side to side he has a diaphragm joint which crunches forward and back and turn side to side he also has the waist joint right there right behind the belt very cool he has these oh, see see what I'm talking about I'll try it on this side moves forward right there and then moves out that much at the leg or at the hip he has a upper thigh swivel double jointed knees which actually don't bend too well because ooh, I don't want to force that this side bends pretty well though <laughs> Damn, I gotta mess with that. I don't know what's going on. Oh, and then this came loose right here, too. Huh, look at that. All right, discovering stuff during the review. It's always fun. He has upper calf swivel right here. He has ankle movement that moves down and up. It's kind of tricky to move it down, but it's got this lip right here. So as you move it downward, you kind of have to shove it right there. See what I'm saying? And then he has a great ankle pivot. I don't know if you guys could hear it in my voice. A lot of people have been leaving comments saying that I sound like a homosexual in my videos lately. But it's because I'm sick, which is actually, you know, quite hilarious that you guys think I sound gay while I'm sick. But sucks. I've been coughing up alien dookie from my mouth lately, and it's just been not fun. So bear with me here. Uh, this is Radioactive Man. Very cool figure. Uh, very, very translucent. Probably my least favorite of the group, just because um, I really like the Tiger Shark figure, but this is, um, you know, he's got a very nice sculpt, and I like the clear 
clear is so cool. Look how radioactive he looks. You can see the face has got a little bit of silver or yellow or gold in, in his eyes. It's so small it's hard to tell, but they have... <coughs> oh, sorry. They do have a little bit of paint in there. Again, editing software is not here yet. Thank you, Sean Long, for mailing it over. Uh, he has this this cover right here. I don't know what else to call it, but his radioactive butt and his, you know, kind of flaps over like this. Um, this isn't necessarily my favorite radioactive man costume, but, you know, it's, it's cool. It's, it's all right. You know, it looks all right. I like the gold right here. There's, no re there's a little bit of shading. I was going to say there's no shading on the torso section, but there's, you can see right there on the lower part, it does have some shading on it. So it's pretty cool. Um, the boots look really, really nice. I think the boot, boots look great. And peg holes at the bottom of his feet. So his articulation. Now this is actually the weakest articulation of the group. Very uh, old school, kind of very much like, you know, the standard look, except it's a different mold, of course. This is, guy's a little bit bigger, but it's the same articulation as this one that's been reused a million times over. So his head doesn't really look up. It's just on a ball, and it doesn't really move down, but it does move side to side. He has ball-jointed shoulders, bicep swivel, single-jointed elbow, wrist moves side to side. He has a diaphragm joint, but it looks like a waist joint because this whole thing's covering, so that moves side to side up here, which is cool. He has leg articulation that moves forward, moves outward a little bit, no upper thigh swivel, double-jointed knees. He has no boot rotation. He has ankle art articulation that moves up and down and side to side. So this is, you know, as far as articulation goes, I think this is the weakest one, but... Still, very cool looking figure. Glad I have it. Very nice. Now, my favorite one out of the group is Tiger Shark. This is a badass little figure right here. This guy is cool. Hold on, let me adjust my camera. There you go. Okay, so this guy is sick. Very, very, very cool. I mean, he has all the articulation. I think the sculpt is fantastic, and I think this is a brand new body mold. I have not seen a character this large that has had this much articulation. Like, there's the Colossus figure. But it's it's not really the Colossus figure at all. And there's also, you know, it's like so far what I've seen is like you have this kind of size figure right here, like the Cyclops. And then it kind of jumps up to Colossus and then it gets up to like Apocalypse, you know. So this guy's like in between like the, I don't know, he's kind of like a Colossus sized character. But this is a completely different mold, of course, you know. So I think that's really cool. I wish they had used the Wrecking Crew, or they redo three three quarter inch Wrecking Crew figures with this body mold, because this guy's really, really big. I mean, comparing him to the multiple man figure, which had been used a lot, you can see he's a big guy. So I really like this a lot. He has really good paint detail on him. He's got this shiny purple going on, which looks really, really dope. I really like the shiny purple, shiny purple. That head sculpt looks sick. That is menacing. He's got this cool fin right here. Very cool. And you could bend it a little bit, you know what I mean? It won't snap, so that's pretty dope. Really nice paint shading on the orange. I think the orange looks really, really cool. I like that a lot. You can see the shading in there, right? Let's get a little closer, like especially on the arm areas right there. See if I darken it up. Sometimes you can see it better. Let's see how you can you see it better. Can you see it? Yeah, a little bit of shading in there. Just a little bit of shading. Yeah, don't you like that orange shading? Yeah, it's good orange shading right there. A little, getting a little creepy with Charmin's Prime. So I'll get a little creepy with Shardimus, yeah. But anyway, that's the shading right there. So anyway, got a little excited over shading, but hey, what are you going to do? Uh, his articulation is sick aside from all that other stuff. Just very cool, beefy looking guy. His torso does look a little on the long side, I have to say, but still, very cool. And plus, he's a tiger shark, so why not, you know? Very cool. All right, so the articulation. Um... As badass as I said it just was, his head does not move that far back because of the fin. It does move far forward pretty well, and it moves side to side perfectly fine. He has ball-jointed shoulders, bicep swivel, single-jointed elbow, wrist moves side to side, diaphragm joint that crunches very far forward. I like that a lot. And very far back. I like that as well. Eh, it doesn't really stay, but it can if you hold it right. Waist swivel, which is awesome. He has great thigh joints right here, or hip joints I mean. Upper thigh swivel up at the depth right there. He has double jointed knees. He has boot rotation right here. His ankle moves down, up, and ankle pivot! I like the detail on the boots. Not bad boots right there. Cool. So yeah, that's my review of the box set. Um, like I said, he's going on eBay right now. I think the 
you know, the availability on Hasbro Toy Shop ended already. But uh, very cool set. Very glad to have it. And I appreciate you guys watching. And I will catch you later. Peace.